This is version 2 of my Hellscriber transmitter project. I have a clock, a crystal clock oscillator at 3.579 MHz, which generates 5 volt square waves at that frequency, the amplitude of which is modulated with AM, amplitude modulation, using pulse width modulation from the microcontroller, generating an audio level tone to go into the power supply of the oscillator. The result is that the output of the oscillator varies its intensity based on the audio it gets from the microchip and it's programmed with some code here which I'm going to post on the website and when it runs I can listen to it with my radio receiver here so this is about the same frequency that's what it sounds like and this is what it looks like on the screen so right now it's saying swharden.com rocks which I agree with and then it starts printing out an alphabet uh, the audio tone is converted into graphics like this in a digital mode called Hellscriber. And this was originally used with hardware-based receivers, almost like a ticker type, typewriter type of device a long time ago. Uh, I plan to use this to send a small amount of data in this visual method, which might be a little bit more resistant to noise than some of the faster, fully digital methods. So here you can see it's sending out the alphabet and it's doing it pretty slowly uh, with this software by the way this software is Ham Radio Deluxe which is free to download and you click on DM780 which is Digital Master 780 and you can load up Field Hell the mode is Field Hell and then you can decode audio like this so you can see we went from posting this wide stuff to this really narrow stuff I can click on Options and take it off of half width and you can see now it's coming across faster. The advantage of this is obvious. Uh, it's, the data is coming through faster, but it's a little bit more prone to get noise. So depending on whether or not we want to send data quickly, we can either use that high resolution mode shown up here or a lower resolution mode down here. And this is what the high resolution mode looks like when we receive it at that normal speed. So all of this should be pretty self-explanatory in the code. The code's not very uh, difficult to look at, and I'll be posting that on my website. If you have any questions, send me an email, swharden at gmail.com. Good luck.